There, there has been a lot of discussion also within the clinical field about whether there should be um, a stronger role for mood instability or emotional lability. And, um, you know, these do not form part of the DSM-4 criteria, um, although they, you know, have been noted as a common associated feature of ADHD. But although they're not part of the criteria, we do know that emotional lability is extremely common in ADHD. And it would be important to recognize that if somebody presents with um, chronic trait-like emotional instability, you know, there's actually a very uh, strong chance that they may also have ADHD. I think the reason it wasn't included in the DSM-4 criteria for the condition is because it is, in a way, a problem that can arise for a number of different reasons, and, and perhaps it would um, sort of make the diagnosis of ADHD less specific, um, you know, to the real condition of ADHD. But at least it needs to be recognised that it's an important associated feature that will very often be seen to accompany ADHD.